Okay, hi everyone! My name is CJ and I'm helping this Durnas to present his poem. So... No, not yet. Cuz, I don't want to, I'm so chilling. Oh my god. Okay, fine, oh my god. Bro, chill. Like, yeah, let's start, let's start. Um, it's good, eh? Can you, like, um, do a favor? Because, like, his poem is, like, very bad. So, can you just rumor him that it's good, please? Poor man, spent all night writing his thing. You know, because like he didn't do it like last week and over the weekend. Like it's totally his fault. Like, not my fault because I'm on a video. It's totally his fault. He didn't do it. Okay, miss. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Come. Okay. So the thematic statement of the uh, po found poem is amidst all the hardships and obstacles you have to always find the silver lining he changed it and the title to the found poem is unpredicted i don't know why he's weird ask him so yeah i'm gonna start reading the poem now unpredicted found poem by cj yes the sun was beaming Oh wait, before I start, I'm gonna apologize for my accent because it's very, very bad and like I can't read my handwriting because it's bad also. So I'm very sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna start now. <clears throat> the sun was beaming, the grass smelling warm. It made everyone think fall was still far. But as the summer wind blew, something came in, an epidemic. A virus which made everyone ailing symptoms are coughing <coughs> sneezing fever whew, i'm hot and persistent itching then you lose all social inhibitions make you all cuddly and friendly after that comes hallucinations these hallucinations torture you while your skin itches with worsened mutations that aren't really on you then you go wild and rabid and after that you go dead but if the symptoms were caught early then you'll be sent to the hospital to be under observation where the doctors don't know what to do what's happening they're clueless and then you lose your will to live you're hopeless then one day there was an itch on my arm i couldn't handle then move to my stomach, then my ankle, and my knee. What the hell could, else could it be? I've got the virus. I locked myself in my room, moved my stuff along with the cot. Then in the darkness, you contemplate life. I can't be sick. It's all a lie. You try going back to your routine. Then you'll miss your old life. God, oh my god, I miss poutine. As I was reading Hamlet, a thought came to my head. It all doesn't matter now, because I'm basically dead. I'm a whole lot of never. I'm never going to university. I'm never getting my first kiss. I'm never getting my first apartment. I'm never going to get married. I'm never going to raise children. I'm never, basically. I found a trick to stay insane, watching videos and playing video games, and forget about everything. Uh-uh, still not done. Listen, I'm awake. I'm alive. I don't get it, but I'm alive. Then a sudden realization washed over me. I'm alive. 
I was too foggy to follow everything the doctor was saying, but I heard you're recovering. Then the full realization washed over me like an icy wave. I asked my dad, is mom okay? He lowered his gaze, which was all the answer I needed. He said, no, she didn't make it. What I do to sur survive? What about the other people? Why am I the only one that got revived? What makes me so special? Then I thought, I have to see the fact that I survived as a gift. And it's something I have to live with. Whether I deserve it or not, I'm going to give everything I've got. Thank you for listening. Oh my god, so bad. CJ, you're such a bad poet. Oh my god. Good time I'm a video only, because I... You're so bad, CJ. Bye. Bye, everyone. Mm. Stop playing.